In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on June 28, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Philadelphia Phillies vs. Chicago Cubs Two teams that are trending up will cross paths, with the Philadelphia Phillies hitting up the north side to face the Chicago Cubs. These teams met in Philadelphia last month, with the Phillies taking two of three. Will things change in Wrigleyville? That's what this week will determine, particularly this second game scheduled for Wednesday night. Philadelphia is 16-5 in their last 21 games overall and 9-1 in their last 10 games against a team with a left-handed starter while the under is 5-0-1 in their last 6 road games. Chicago is 9-3 in their last 12 games overall and 5-2 in their last 7 home games while the under is 5-1 in their last 6 games following a loss. Both teams are playing well lately, but only one can win. Siding with the team at home, with a 20-17 mark there, seems wiser than taking the visiting team that's 19-23 on the road especially since these teams have matched each other offensively this month and have similar bullpen production this season. It may be tight, but the Chicago faithful should lead the ballpark with a smile when this one is through. I haven't been in love with the Cubs and the Phillies are hot, but Aaron Nola's really struggled on the road, and while he had a nice start last time out, that start did come at home for the Phillies righty. The Cubs have been solid behind Drew Smiley when he starts and I think he pushes the Cubs to a win here. So the Chicago Cubs money line is our full game side pick. Both Nola and Smiley are really starting to pitch well and limiting the damage. This season, the Phillies are 41-29-7 in hitting the under while on the road are 22-17-3 in hitting the under while the Cubs are 37-36-3 in hitting the under and at home are 16-19-2. However, in Smiley's last five starts, he's allowing just 3.2 runs per start while Nola is averaging 3.4 but this Cubs lineup has struggled at times and isn't as good as other teams the righty has pitched against. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Cleveland Guardians vs. Kansas City Royals The Philadelphia Phillies and Chicago Cubs face off on Wednesday in an MLB showdown at Wrigley Field. On Wednesday, it was the Phillies that were able to secure the 5-1 victory. The Guardians are 3-9 in their last 12 during Game 2 of a series and 6-2 in their last 8 overall. The Royals are 16-37 in their last 53 during Game 2 of a series and 19-51 in their last 70 overall. The under is 8-3 in Guardians' last 11 Wednesday games. The over is 4-1 in Royals' last 5 overall. The Guardians are 22-9 in the last 31 meetings in Kansas City and 43-20 in the last 63 meetings. The Kansas City Royals have been absolutely brutal in the month of June as they are 5-17 so far while the Cleveland Guardians are 12-10 so far. With two rookie pitchers, expect the bullpens to be involved as the Guardians are second in the sport with a 2.96 bullpen earned run average while the Royals are 28th in the majors with a 4.84 reliever earned run average thus far. The Kansas City Royals have been fade material all season and that will continue as they can't string together a fence and can't finish games. It doesn't help that Austin Cox has just 12.1 career big league innings under his belt. Logan Allen has been respectable with his 3.68 earned run average, and the Guardians need to take advantage of games like this to chip away in the standings. So the Cleveland Guardians' money line is our full game side pick. Looking at these starting pitchers, they should do well as Logan Allen is 2-1 with a 3.38 road earned run average with a .245 batting average against in five road games, while Austin Cox has not allowed a hit or a run in seven innings at home. These offenses in the last 30 days have not been scoring enough to expect the over as Cleveland is averaging 4.96 runs in their last 25 games while Kansas City is scoring 3.42 runs in their previous 24 games. Nolan in his last start gave up zero runs and he's going to lock down here. Smiley gave up zero runs in his last start also and he's going to lock down here. Both offenses are going to struggle here. This game is going to be lower scoring. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Los Angeles Dodgers vs. Colorado Rockies. This Wednesday night matchup features Game 2 of the three-game series between the Los Angeles Dodgers traveling to take on the Colorado Rockies at home. The Dodgers got the 5-0 win last night and will look to secure the series win in Game 2. The Los Angeles Dodgers are 44-34 this season and they have won five of their last six games. Los Angeles won Game 1 in this series by a score of 5-0 on Tuesday night. The Los Angeles pitching staff has a 4.46 earned run average, a 1.25 WHIP, and a .243 opponent batting average this season. The Dodgers offense has scored 414 runs with a .238 batting average and a .324 on-base percentage. Freddie Freeman is batting .316 with 14 home runs and 48 RBIs for the Dodgers. The projected starting pitcher for Los Angeles is Michael Grove, who is 0-2 with a 7.59 earned run average and a 1.53 WHIP over 32 innings pitched this year. The Colorado Rockies are 31-50 this season and they have lost 10 of their last 12 games. Prior to losing the first game in this series, Colorado won two out of three games against the Angels. The Colorado pitching staff has a 5 0.65 earned run average, a 1.55 WHIP, and a .283 opponent batting average. The Rockies' offense has scored 349 runs with a .254 batting average and a .315 on-base percentage this year. Ryan McMahon is batting .264 with 12 home runs and 41 RBIs for the Rockies. The projected starting pitcher for Colorado is Kyle Freeland, who is 4-8 with a 4.54 earned run average and a 1.39 WHIP. WHIP over 85.1 innings pitched this season. The Dodgers have yet to decide who will start Game 2 while the Rockies give left-hander Kyle Freeland the ball. First pitch is scheduled live from Coors Field, Denver, Colorado. Los Angeles is 5-1 in their last six games overall and 4-1 in their last five road games while the under is 4-2 in their last six games overall. Colorado is 2-10 in their last 12 games overall and 3-7 in their last 10 home games while the under is 4-1 in their last five games overall. It's not often and the Rockies will take down the Dodgers, but there's too much value here with the Rockies considering how well Kyle Freeland has a tendency to pitch well at home. The Dodgers at first glance appear to be implementing a bullpen game, and that's not good if that's the case for Los Angeles. The Dodgers are one of the league's most talented teams, but the value is with Colorado here. So the Colorado Rockies' money line is our full game side pick. The total was set relatively high at 12 for Game 1, so we should see another double-digit total in Game 2. The under yields greater value and double-digit totals as it is much more likely we see one team score little and the other team score a fair amount, as we saw in Game 1. Regardless of who the Dodgers start, the Rockies will likely struggle offensively as they haven't scored more than five runs in their past five games. The Dodgers' offense will get their fair share but will be pressed to score enough runs required for a double-digit total. We were correct in taking the under for the game last night and I expect a similar story in Game 2. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.